everybody, Cyberpunks and Retro Nerds, Neon Trash here, Matt Hayes right here, the Kent City Crippler, with the dreaded one Dean, Rocket of the John, <laughs> Two Tallest for These Walls, Eric Raymond, guest star, <laughs> Hammer of Thomas, <laughs> your hostess with the mostest! Hell yeah. And tonight it is my pick. And tonight we, I decided to review for us, old classic, Harry and the Hendersons. <laughs> hey. What do you think it was gonna be? <laughs> Disaffected youth? I don't know. PC <laughs> <laughs> in the air. Ah, uh, anyway. sorry. Yes. Yes. I had to say something. That's the way it goes. So yeah, so hope you know. Hope everybody likes this one because you know I loved watching it when I was growing up and still love watching it occasionally. You guys know this routine? Check out the trailer. PBS. We'll be right back, motherfuckers. Eluded hunters, baffled scientists and remained a mystery until the Hendersons bumped into him. What is it? It's a major discovery. We have to take it home. George. It's alive! Yeah! It's my 15th birthday corsage! Uh-oh. George, he's coming back! Stole him! My kids, how? Show him the pasta maker! American family just got bigger. Harry and the Hendersons. All right, guys, so we just got done watching the late 1980s comedy Harry and the Hendersons with the special effects of uh, Rick Baker, and what a fucking treat this was to revisit. I mean, I think a lot of us can safely say that we haven't seen this movie since we were little kids, and rightfully so. I mean, for me, it's been at least a decade and a half, close to two decades since I've actually seen this movie. I don't know, I mean, when you watch a movie, a family comedy about Sasquatch, it's a very specific thing. It's a very <laughs> specific type of comedy. And if you don't have good special effects, if you're not selling the Bigfoot creature, you're gonna fucking lose your audience. I think the Bigfoot creature in this does a bang up job. Um, John Lithgow, hilarious. The animatronics, spectacular. But, but I feel like the movie spins its wheels at least maybe, tell the story. <laughs> maybe 30 minutes into the movie, I feel like there's maybe one too many fish out of water, awkward, bumbling, Bigfoot jokes here or there that go on for maybe five or ten minutes too long. Um, Great. I can kind of uh, concur with you there, Tommy. Uh, it, you know, it's a, it starts out as like your typical 80s family, like, high spirits kind of romp. And uh, it, it does kind of, like, once they get together and they're cool, it is like, a little, uh, you know, they, they go with the hunky dory way too long. Uh, <laughs> I think but, I understand what you mean by that, strangely enough. But then all of a sudden, like, then there's a hunter that wants Bigfoot dead, and then all of a sudden that almost feels like another movie. It's like, oh shit, it's like an action adventure all of a sudden. What can I say that, you know, Tom and Dean hasn't said or anything about the movie? <laughs> I talked pretty much throughout the entire movie to everybody on different levels. I watched maybe 15 minutes total. <laughs> <laughs> At least he's honest. It was great. Every 15 minutes was fantastic. But the most, the best part of tonight was hanging with everybody. Oh. Yeah. Oh. It's the 80s family movie oh. night. So. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. 
<laughs> deep into the Fifi's here, boys. Hey, hey, you hey, felt it as much as I felt. Right in the hearts. Yeah. This is a I mean, family comedy that's after right. all. We cuddled up on the couch. We smoothed. I'm not going to lie. We passed it. Oh, absolutely love this movie. Grew up watching it. Yep. Love every bit about it. And yeah, of course, you know, the Bigfoot costume and everything was, you know, very, very good. Yes. I mean, very believable. As I was telling these guys how they made it, and it was just very impressive for that time. Well, did you tell them how they made it? That was yeah. amazing, yeah. yeah. I told you. So I know, I remember. <laughs> did you tell them? All right. <laughs> I mean, if you want me to tell them, I can. I would, <laughs> but anyway, yeah. I'm trying to remember the, guy, the guy's name, uh, the, the actor that played Harry. I mean, you were telling us that he uh, also did the Predator. Yeah, he did the Predator. Pre pre predator. Pre pre oh, and Kevin right. Peter Hall, that's the name. Kevin Peter I Hall. I did not know that. Yes. He was naturally just a really tall guy to begin with, and that his height in this movie wasn't really all the costume. It actually was his actual height. They I mean, made a little bit was his yeah, costume. Yeah, I mean, I mean like there's about a three to four inches for his head, and then about two to three inches for the... Uh, you know, the, the boot for him for like, you know, making the feet. That's fucking awesome. Yeah, that's all I mean. That's that's yeah, yeah, look at it. And, and, and yeah. like when they, they measured him out, he was well over eight feet tall. Well, let me tell you folks, I actually remember seeing this in the theater as a youngin. Wow. I, I do. Back in and my days. Back in my <laughs> days, you had to go to the moving pictures. <laughs> wow. No. Before yeah. the real I, I don't think but I've seen. Is. I don't think I've seen this movie all the way through since I probably saw it in the theater. Like I've caught like, maybe on TV, like yeah. uh, cable back in the day. Back in the day, what can I say that hasn't been said before? I just said that. You can talk about your part. We're going to keep your part out and my part. I love it. Go deep. No, there's going to be. Oh, no. 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 Oh, <laughs> What's really neat about this is I actually got to see where a lot of this was filmed when I went out to see my buddy Dusty out in Northwest uh, Washington State. Uh, he lives right along the state highway where a lot of this was filmed, so we got to go and drive past a lot of it, and that was very, very cool to see. Harry and the Hendersons, I've seen a lot of um, cheesy... 1980s, going into the 1990s, family romps. Not really big on them. Uh, I like certain ones. I like Problem Child. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I would watch um, that. But, like I said, it spins its wheels, and out of 10 stars, I think I could only give this movie a straight up 6. Dean? I knew he was going to say 6. Okay. I don't know. I, I've been kind of going back and forth where, like, First, I was going to give it something like a 7 or a 7.5, but I'm like, ah, just because I enjoyed it doesn't necessarily mean it was a great movie. But, you know, the uh, the costume is so cool. Like, I don't know, it, this movie on star count has me going back and forth. But, uh, <laughs> give it a 6.5 or a 7. Oh. Honestly, I probably witnessed about 15 so minutes of this. Yeah, okay, judge those 15 minutes. Oh, hang on now. <laughs> 15 minutes of the teacher, it was fantastic. Every 15 minutes that I actually ended up watching was... Actually, dude, it was breathtaking. I mean, but honestly, 15 minutes... Uh, I didn't see much of the movie, but I spent a lot of time with these fellas. It was good. I had a blast. Movie count, uh, Aaron Henderson. It was, uh, it was, yeah, it was a movie, dude. You know? <laughs> it was a star count. I was ten, stars. ten stars. You know, ten it's stars. whatever you give it, dude. Honestly, it doesn't matter what the star count is because ultimately it's what you think it is. Right. So, right. Damn, that's what it's like. Really really going 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 well, that's good. Um, 15 minutes. I like everything about it. It does drag just a, you know, a little too much in some parts, but other than that, all around good movie. Good what flick. part dragged though? I gotta ask, just real quick. Sorry. I elaborated on that part. Yeah, no. I mean, we could go into more detail, but no. <laughs> I would say, star count. I would say, you know, for. 
for like you know everything that's involved the scenery and everything, I would say you know 7.5 and 8 for nostalgia on top of it. So. All right, let's wrap up the star count. Old Johnny Rocket definitely appreciates the costume and the actor behind the costume that really made the movie. I love John Lithgow as well. He is incredible in this movie. Everybody loves him. And actually, the whole production of this movie is actually really good. The whole, I mean, scenery was great, of course. They know how to make a damn good film, honestly. And I'm right there with you, Maddie. I'm going to give this a 7.5. Wow, well, there you guys have it. That is the movie, the old Harry and the motherfucking Hendersons. I hope I've been informative, <laughs> motherfuckers. Until the next time, tune in. To me on trash!